Let's see, why does an ex say he wants commitment after we get back? Then few days he says he doesn't want because he remembers all the bad things that happened. What should the woman do? Could there be someone else? Well, it, it's so one of the things that I want to talk about here because a lot of women do this and they do it in our community all the time and it's it really doesn't serve you to do this and it's immediately assume that there's somebody else. I mean, unless this guy is a super player, which if he is, then my suggestion is you stop dating players. He's probably he probably doesn't just have somebody on the side. He probably isn't just finding other people all the time, right? And um, a, a lot of people assume that he is, right? A guy is. Oh, he's losing interest in me. Oh, he doesn't want commitment. There must be somebody else, right? And it's kind of throwing it into this thing where it's like all of a sudden there's somebody out there. And I mean, there could be a whole bunch of different reasons why he might not actually want a commitment. And the first reason would be looking at what he actually says, right? So if he's like, hey, you know, I remember all the the bad things that happened. I would assume that he's remembering all the bad things that happened, right? Because that's that's usually like I, I've been in a few situations in my own personal life where I've had exes try to get back together with me. And the biggest thing that prevented me from getting back together with them wasn't somebody else. It wasn't, you know, dating somebody else. It was usually me remembering how our relationship was and then thinking, I don't want to go back to that. I never want to go back to that. And so if you want a man, if you want to get back together with a guy, you have to make him believe that he's coming into something new that he's not going back to what you had. And so you want to break the pattern, break his image of who you are, of what this relationship is going to look like with the two of you. And then once you break that, then it's a lot easier to to build things up, right? And you want to build things up by building up your value first, right? Making him put in the effort, making him chase you, getting him to invest from an emotional and mental and physical and financial and every kind of aspect that you can get him to invest because the more effort that he puts in to you, the more that he is going to value you. And so you want to do all that before you end up hooking up with him or doing anything or even agreeing to be in a relationship with him. My suggestion is that if you reconnect with a guy, instead of going straight into, okay, are we going to be in a committed relationship and, you know, are we getting back together and all this other stuff? Instead, my suggestion to you is go, yeah, you know, I'm not really sure that I want to get back together either. You know, like, I realized that I had a bunch of weird things going on with me when we were in that relationship that we had. I realized that all your complaints about the things that were happening between the two of us, those were legitimate complaints. And I've been working on myself and I've been growing myself and I've been, you know, doing a whole bunch of things in my life and I I love my life now. And I've been having a great time and creating a great experience for myself. And I'm not really sure that I want to get back into this relationship where I was trying to convince you and prove to you. And, you know, I was constantly nagging you and you were doing whatever you wanted and you didn't care about my needs. And, you know, um, you know, I was doing all these things to hurt you. I don't want to go back to that. I don't want to go back to any of that. You know, if I'm going to get into a relationship, I want something that's completely different than what it is that we had. And so that's my suggestion for you if you're going back into it is instead of instead of trying to get him to go back to something that you were in, break that old pattern, right? Break the image of who he thinks you are, right? Make radical shifts in your behavior and your appearance so that you break that that pattern of who he thinks you are and then make him work and put effort in to uh, hanging out with you and spending time with you and getting back together with you. And that way you create a new frame around your relationship 
where he looks at it as something completely new that he's getting into. He values you a lot more and you're not going back to this old thing that he doesn't want to be in. You don't want to be in it either because it's just going to get you back into the same situation that you were in when he left. And so you don't want to be in that situation at all. That's my suggestion.